back now, Mr. Muhammad. Of course, you know, Mr. Muhammad, that Marcus Garvey in the 1920s tried a back to Africa movement, which fizzled for lack of support. And if I recall, the communists in the early 30s, during the height of the Depression, offered the Negroes a 49th state in an effort to capture their vote. But none of these ever succeeded. It's foretold by God and his prophets that uh, separation must take place in this time. We are uh, uh, 400 years here in the Western uh, Hemisphere. And the predictions of us stay here in the Western Hemisphere is only 400 years, according to the prophets. And... Uh, that time now is up, and uh, God himself is taking the hand into it. It is not us alone. We all are followers, and uh, being guided by God himself in this uh, thing that we call separation. It is the desire of God to separate us. Well, I would agree with your philosophy, your explanation, sir. That's your certainly your side, but I don't see any signs of this gaining any momentum among the black people of living separately. Well, that's good. They are acting according to the prediction. Uh, we don't expect to go around and, and use our mouth for a trumpet to try to uh, bring them in subjection to the will of God. It is written that they must be uh, 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 they must have more than just preaching. And uh, uh, that comes from God to after the preaching. In the field of religion, Mr. Muhammad, is there any link between the nation of Islam, which you had, and the Arab-oriented Muslim religion? Yes, they are. Uh, the common Arab, uh, the common Muslim, in Asia and Africa and the islands of the Pacific, they might not say recognize us as being the, on, I would say, equal with them in Islam. But the scientists of Islam, they recognize us. Those who know and understand, there's a little difference in the teachings here uh, of Islam than it is among the Orthodox Muslims. The Orthodox Muslims, they are born in Islam, most of them, when they come to Arabia, Egypt. And, uh, yes, I can't say uh, Pakistan, because Pakistan just uh, got Islam about a thousand years ago. But Arabia has always had it, and Egypt has always had it in some way or another. Africa has once had it, but now she uh, she is going back to it. She was so far in, as you know her history better than I do. But however, she's going back to Islam now. And we have never had Islam here in America. We was never taught Islam. What I'm trying to determine, uh, Mr. Muhammad, is there a relationship between the religion you preach here and the Arab-oriented uh, Muslim religion? Yes, sir, when it's understood. Because they do believe in the brotherhood of man. They do not ostracize whites. In fact, they are led by a white person. And they claim that Muhammad, the prophet, was the last prophet in the world, that they would not accept another prophet, of course. Well, as I said uh, before, we are in a time of separation. And uh, we uh, are not in the same uh, category as, they are, as those Muslims over there. They have been uh, dealing with the Western world in many ways and for a long time. And there we have a uh, great, uh, I should say, a little nation of Muslims in Turkey, who was converted uh, about a thousand years ago to Islam, as you know. And uh, we don't uh, condemn them in their belief, 
they believe. We accept them as their, their belief. I uh, stopped in Turkey on my way uh, to the middle and farther east in 1959. And I talked with them, lived there for a while in the hotel, uh, just to observe them. And uh, they believe, Allah accepts their belief. But what I am actually preaching that different from them, that uh, one is uh, a Muslim by nature, and the other is made a Muslim. Uh, what about this thing that comes up so often, Mr. Muhammad, whenever you are quoted, and you made a speech at the convention here, that all whites are devils, throwing a blanket over the whole white race? Well, the, We know we have our share, as everybody does, but to say all whites are devils is kind of a, a uh, racial intolerance that few people would believe. Mr. Cup, we did not have any white people on our planet uh, before uh, 6,000 years ago. And uh, according to the history of the makings of the white race uh, and its uh, teacher, I must explain that teacher's work. He didn't go to make a race uh, for God. He didn't make, make that race for God. He make that work, that race for an adversary of God, and uh, therefore we uh, cannot uh, deny the fact that they has practiced evil ever since that they has been on the planet, and they still practice the waste of evil, and uh, I think that's the answer to devil. Isn't it a little unusual, though, Mr. Muhammad, if I may press you on this point a little bit, that you are a man of religion and to castigate the whole white race as devils, doesn't that put you in an untenable position, really? I don't and think so. And does most of your criticism come from a statement like that? I don't think so. When it's the uh, uh, will of God and God wants truth manifest, and so he wants uh, also evil manifest. Where is the will of God expressed? In the Koran, is this that all white men are devils? Well, uh, certainly not in the one they practice in uh, the, mu the Muslims practice. Well, uh, Mr. Kulp, uh, uh, let us take the, the birth of this uh, nation. Uh, they were grafted from us, and not the, that they came about. Like we, we have no birth record. You're talking about the origin of man? The or origin of, the, of, of uh, man on earth. Yes. There's no birth record to him. You can't find uh, the birth of him. He has always, we have always been on the earth. But uh, you have not. As I just said, that uh, the uh, father of uh, God that uh, grafted uh, your race from my people, it was for the purpose of uh, bringing about a different uh, in the two people. It was first discovered in the germ of the man. Uh, the real black aboriginal person, uh, he have a brown and uh, black germ in him. And the uh, discovery of that 6,600 years ago by a scientist by the name of Yakub, he uh, taken that uh, germ and separated it from the original and went to work to drive the germ, well, I use, pardon me for using the uh, common word drive, but to separate this germ, the brown germ, from the black one, and to uh, continue it under a law of, uh, we say, of uh, birth control until that he was able to graft this brown germ into a yellow germ, and from that on to into white. For the last stage of it is white. For conceding that you are correct anthropologically, there will be some argument about that, of course. 
Let me pause here just a moment for a message from the sponsor, and we'll be right back.